And here it is, DJI Pocket 3, here at the DJI store, here in Huashang Bay. Hi. Hello. Hi. So uh, who are you? Uh, I'm June. This is Huashang uh, Bay DJI store. This is new Pocket 3. Many people waiting for this very long time, right? Mm -hmm. Three years, four years, people waiting for the update. And now it's one inch sensor. Yes. This is the whole combo? Yes, it's the whole combo with a back. And the new mic. DJI Mic 2, the new mic system with a transparent. You can see it right here. And uh, this is also connect under. Yes. This is battery. Battery, nice. So this can do very high. Oh, it says updating battery handle. All right. So everything can update with the software. New function, everything. Yeah. It's a smart camera. This yes. is the new, new. What's new about it? So it's got a one-inch CMOS sensor instead of uh, smaller, like yes. what was before. Better lens. Yeah. It's got a bigger display. Yeah. It's got uh, six things instead of three. Yeah. What is this? Follow. Follow. Follow mode. Ah, version six. Uh, DJI mic. mic 2. Mm. So it's got a better, it's built in. So the, the microphone can, can talk directly to the camera, right? I, I hope there would be two, but right now it's just one, right? Yes. And then uh, there's a 16 minute only to charge. Yes. Very quick charge. It can record much longer and a little bit longer on a battery. Yeah. Longer, longer record time. And what does this mean? 103 something. Yeah, uh, this battery is quality. Better quality. Yeah, high quality, high quality battery. Nice. Can we can we have a look in the menu? Can you show a little bit and record? Like this, is what how it looks like. Nice. This is the menu. And uh, there we're choosing 4K 60. Or 4K30, 4K24, and if you go in uh, photo mode, there's also other functions. Ooh. Right. So hopefully it has phase detect autofocus, uh, good autofocus solution. And can you go back to the video mode? Video mode. Yeah. Nice. And uh, try to do a small recording. Uh, you can record video, all right, and then it's just tracking, right? It's just stable. This is how you get the stable camera here, available on Huashang Bay. And so the price is 3,500 RMB uh, for the basic package. So like this, uh, if I go check it out. So this is 3,500 RMB. You just get the camera. This is 450 euros. If you want the, the package, the whole thing is 600 something dollars or something like that. Uh, that's the price right here. So it's a big update. It's very interesting to see how is the autofocus. Maybe I'll try to do a scene, little recording. Maybe you can record me with my uh, micro SD and I'll put a link to the footage right under my video. It's uh, very interesting to see if DJI can be an alternative to like Panasonic and and the other kind of cameras people are considering, Sony's and stuff like that. Um, it all depends on the qu quality and the ease of use. It has a live streaming functionality. Can you show in the UI, is there something about live streaming in here? Or need to set up with the phone, right? Uh, right. But the idea here is you don't need to connect the phone anymore, right? Before the DJI Pocket was all about connecting your phone, and now you don't really need to do that anymore. You just record everything with this DJI Pocket 3. And with this battery add-on, battery life is just extended. In fact, if you get in the Pro, you, you can turn off glam Glamour. Uh, some image adjustments are in default. And if you go in Custom, you can go, uh, you can set up the sharpness, you can set up noise reduction. It's either up and down. I'll just go to default. And all these functions right here. 
and it's going to be interesting to see how you connect with the phone to do live streaming because you can do live streaming on TikTok, Douyin, Facebook, X, on YouTube, built in, and then it goes into this case. Oh, there's the thing there. There, yeah. And then you put it right here. This is how it's transported. All right. Cool. And then you have this little thing here. This is just a, um, a stand. So I guess it has some modes where it can follow you around. And when I go in selfie, and I go selfie like this, it can follow my face. You see, it's face tracking. It's just by default, it's going to follow me around. I'm coming down, going up. I can do my special dance because I'm a break dancer. Yeah, it will follow me. Or I go out, outward again. And this is what it looks like. So the whole question is, what's the quality? How's the ease of use? Uh, it only records to one micro SD card, so you don't have redundancy. I wish it had like built-in memory and uh, use the micro SD as a backup kind of, you know, for all your recordings, that would be nice if it had like a terabyte built in or something. Uh, I guess that's going to be the GDJI Pocket 3.5. With a dual mic, that's crucial. I really want to, I, I need to use dual mic. So I don't know if it supports dual mic or not. Look at this cool mic. All right, cool. And uh, there is a little lens. Sorry, I get, I can hear you. Yeah, let me just uh, mute you for a second. Yeah, right here. Okay, uh, there. Yeah, it's got lens adapter. You can see. Ooh. Yeah, my Panasonic. I need to. I want to update to the Panasonic uh, G9 Mark II. But I mean, this is totally a challenger. I think this is an alternative. And how excited are people about this quality? I want to see DJI do micro four thirds. It'd be nice if DJI thought about that. They, they've done that before, I think, on cameras and some of the high-end drones. But imagine a pocket with a micro four thirds sensor. But actually, maybe the one inch is, is kind of like perfect. It can can have a you know depth of field. The background is maybe out of focus a little bit. So it gives like, you know, a 3D effect when you have nice enough sensor size. All right. There it is, 4K60 DJI Pocket 3 in Huashang Bay. And all these cameras right here are pre-booked. People are just coming to pick them up in these uh, next couple days uh, here in the Huashang Bay. You can see we are on Huashang Bay, and this is a DJI store right here. All right, I'll just go back to the hotel and upload this video right now. It's just launched. I hope it was informative enough. You'll watch all the other guys who do actually uh, in-depth reviews and stuff like that. I'm uh, excited to know if this could be something I could actually use. I have the DJI Pocket 1 but it has um, ah, limitations and stuff. It's not quite, I kind of have it always as a backup just in case my main camera crashes. But who knows, maybe this is, could be the main camera. I wanna see if DJI thinks of doing multi-camera live streaming with this kind of thing where it just goes to automatically sync multiple cameras and multiple microphones. Right, thanks for watching.